in uh, what we call the order at uh, 7.04 p.m. on the 21st. Um, uh, the first thing is the, uh, um, we have the agenda that was uh, sent around, but I didn't see um, from last, I didn't see on the Google Drive if there was um, meeting minutes from last time. So I don't know if we have to approve the meeting minutes. Oh, uh, yeah, we have to approve the minutes. So first we have to approve the agenda. And I don't even uh, have the, I have the agenda that was sent Right. Does everybody have the agenda that was sent out? Do you want me uh, to do yeah, it? It was sent out at 8.38 a.m. So Steve sent it out at 8.38 a.m. Steve sent that out. I did not send that out. I Does can resend have... that if need be. It looks like it went to Arlene, Cynthia, John, Max, Patrick, Mike, and me. Did anybody not get that? I can send it to him again. I sent a message that I could not open that document. I have not seen the agenda yet, but that's all right. I haven't right. seen so, the David, agenda either. David, can I be recognized? I can't put my hand up because I'm the host. Okay. I, John Williams. That was John Williams. Yep. I can Dinosaur read, I can, Williams. <laughs> David, can I have the floor for a second? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I can screen share your agenda so everybody can see it if that makes it easier. Oh, that would be great. I, I, have it, good. I can also, yeah. I'm, I'm sending a PDF right now too to everybody. So, um, so yeah, either way, why don't you put that up on the screen so we can all take a look at it. And let me just open it up here. Got three other things. You're the best. <laughs> Takes me a second to get into all my folders here. Abe, Judy, I'm writing everybody down while we're doing that. Cynthia, Eileen. I got John, I got Mike. Patrick is not with us. Oh, Patrick has a, he has a class, right? Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. All right, now you can see it. Oh, let me just scroll down here, and here you are. All right. Excellent. So that's today's agenda. Um, if, uh, if everybody wants to take a look at that right now, um, and uh, so we can get a motion to approve the agenda as is. Um, the... Public comment uh, is read because uh, what? Because it's going to be. Um, it's read. Are you are okay. Paying attention to it that it has different rules. That's the only reason. Okay. And by the way, you had no public comment recorded today. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. I would like to uh, approve the agenda. All right. All in favor? Uh, uh, oh wait, I need a second. I need a second. Yep. I'll support it. I'll support it, Mike. Mike, okay, okay, thank you. Seconded by Mike. All in favor of approving agenda for May 21st as is. I approve. Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. All right. Ooh. Agenda approved. That way yeah. says Willie. That's good. I can see Willie's name now. Yep. Now, uh, as for the minutes, uh, did we say? Did you say those are on the the Google Drive or? or not? I thought that I uploaded them, but let me know if I did. I sent them out to everybody. Uh, all right. Um, I don't like the screenshot. I got a bad screenshot. Here. Can we stop sharing the agenda? There we oh, go. That, there oh, there's Patrick. Hi, Patrick. Hi. Yeah. If the okay, uh, moving if, Patrick up. If the uh, uh, if the, the the sharing of the meeting minutes was the one that was from twelve twenty three today. Um, for whatever reason, I just get a, um, uh, I get a thing that says winmail.dat and that doesn't come through as a document. So, okay. I'll upload it again. Okay. Yeah, you know that. what? Um, I mean, in the future, that is your like, um, signature from the attorney's office that the windmill thing comes from. Cause All I've right. had issues with that and I had to dig to get it out. Oh. Okay. That comes automatically because you're working for the attorney. Oh, yeah. So there's a little, I have a business card at the bottom of my email yeah. for the and law that's firm. What, that's what Always we ignore have. that. I just upload, though, to the Google Drive, should not get that. I know. Oh, okay. Because yeah, I have emails, though, yes. Yeah. Just ignore yeah. that. It's a business card for real business. Exactly. Oh, there's Patrick. Yeah. That's happened to me before when I've been on my phone. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. So um, uh, while we're going to get that, oh, I just see a bunch of stuff come through. Mark. March 4th, May 14th. Actually, in the office, guys, just so you know, Tim and I are sharing an office. But he said you can't see his part of the office over here. <laughs> yeah. I had to move the camera. 
All right. So the um, oh, is this the? Well, there's the April fourteenth one. Is there a May? No, oh, this should be a May. Do you want me to? Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm not seeing it on the. Uh, uh, so I'm in the Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade, 2020 minutes folder, and I see January, January. Okay. Um, February, March third. Um, there's the 414 one, but I haven't seen. I can't see anything else. So. Okay. Do you want me to forward that? To, Cause I kept mine. So I think I can email it. Uh, if you can email that around, that'd be great. And if not, I can, and I can make that into a PDF for anybody who can't read word docs. So. Yeah. Did I leave? I thought I turned it into a PDF for that one. Um, I'm trying to find, I got all my emails for me. It's on my work computer and I'm on my home. So let yeah. me see. Well, if anybody's got it in their email, can they forward it on to me? Yeah, I'm scrolling down. Hold on here. Okay. Um, mine in the email goes to the. Um... I think I emailed it out on Tuesday. So let me just scroll to Tuesday. Here we go. Okay. Agenda. I guess maybe we should reply, like reply to me to make sure everybody gets it. Okay. Here are the proposed minutes. Okay, so forward. Okay, Dave, I'm going to send them to you because I can't from my phone send it to everybody. That's fine. Uh, yeah, because the way I'm getting it, I just, uh, I could show you my screen here, but it just comes through as a. Okay, it's at the bottom along with my signature card, but just ignore the signature card. All right, that doesn't come through anyway for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. All right, while that's going on, is uh, uh, how's everybody holding up? Everybody doing okay? Yeah. Staying well? I, I still go into the office, so. Now it's three full days, three days, three days a week, full days. I'm checking on my mom periodically. Uh, she's doing great. I was there two times this week. She's doing great. She's 95, lives alone in an apartment in St. Clair with her dog. Does yeah. she? Yeah, it's kind of crazy because everyone wants to reel her in, but she's not ready for that. So, wow. and she's COVID free. So I'm thankful. Nice. And I can and see she's got her. dogs too. So, yeah. And I can see her, so it's all good. Okay. Did you get that, Dave? I did. So does everybody have the uh, the meeting uh, minutes from uh, May 14? Because you can share your screen, too. If you can pull yep. it up, you might be yep. able to share your screen. I'm going to pull this one up here. Did you send an email or did you text me? I did. I sent an email on Tuesday night after I talked to you. Know, I, was oh, I got like it. Messaging I got it. You guys. Oh, host disabled attendee screen sharing. Oh, Carol doesn't want me uh Okay, can you send it to Carol? I just made you a co-host, David. Okay, right. thank you. Okay, I'm like, Carol, do you want me to send it to Carol? <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, so this is, is this it? Okay, there we go. That is okay. the minutes, there we go. So May 14 minutes uh, from our Zoom call. So. If everybody wants to take a look at this really quick uh, to see if there was anything jumps out at them, I think that was everybody that we had in attendance. Uh, yeah. Max was out. We had, uh, let's see, motion to accept, none, no public comment. Um, it was a pretty oh, simple meeting. Can... We really just, the things we vote on, so. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna motion to approve the minutes as written. I'll All second right. that. Who was the second, yeah. Judy? Judy, yeah. Judy? All right, got it. All right, all in favor of accepting the minutes for May 14 as is. Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Thank you. All right. All right, approved. All right, meeting minutes are approved. And I'll okay. upload, upload to Google Drive. Got it. Okay, so um, let me go, since Steve's not here. Yeah, he, I, yeah. Okay, so it doesn't matter that he's not here, right? He's just the police liaison. Sure, it's a, if if he had an ex officio uh, report, which he generally doesn't, 
Yeah. Um, okay. he, he, I give him a chance to talk to him, but um, uh, okay. thank you. so let me call it this. Now, um, uh, I hope everybody got the um, uh, the report that I sent over, which is really just a what I've been working. Oh, you guys want to see Shelby while we're here? Look, yes. there's Shelby. Hey, Shelby. Hi, Shelby. I saw that report earlier today. Okay. Um, so yeah, the uh, uh, basically it's just um, I continued working on the um, uh, on the ooh, you know what I can actually share that with you uh, working on the video for oh. the um, for Memorial Day. Now what I don't know is here here we go. So we've got uh, you know Pastor Rick Beatty, he was a great guy. Um, you know uh, we had the. Mayor's remarks. Um, we had, uh, you know, uh, both the interviews, and um, I, I mean, it's the sound quality is fine. The, there was a little bit of a um, sound issue on the day that we were shooting these because they started construction. It's not terribly bad, and especially once we add, um, uh, you know, music under there. So I've got uh, uh, patriotic, Aww, very man. somber stock music that's uh, going to go uh, onto these things. Um, but, uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be sending over, um, uh, the rough cut of the video, which is the initial one. It's not to be viewed as the, the final product. So when I send it around for review, I want people, you know, eh, this one drags, I don't like this part, you know, uh, definitely I want your, um, your feedback and the way people usually give feedback on videos is, uh, they, they watch it. I can send around a private link on Vimeo. Um, and, uh, people generally watch it. So, um, what they usually do is go at three minutes and 45 seconds. Now uh, there's a weird cut here. And so they, uh, if you give, um, recommendations or, uh, changes or anything like that to, uh, the video when it's time for review, just make reference of the, uh, the time code, um, in the video. So I know, uh, where in there that you're, you're, you're referring to. Because sometimes people will go, oh, the part where the guy says the thing. I'm like, I don't know what, you, what part that is. I'm like, I need an exact time. Um, so that will go around here within the next day or so. And uh, what I don't know is, I mean, obviously we can post this to Facebook. We can post it to YouTube and all that stuff. But for WROK, um, what I don't know is uh, what the uh, how you know how the process works for getting video um uh to richard to get on air and um and then once we know that you know what the actual format is going to be because i can export this thing in any format whatsoever um but i want to make sure that it, we're we're working within their guidelines i've given them video before like just mp4 okay. um oh he's coming on right now okay yeah, I can take an MP4 as long as it's uh, in 29 by 97 or point. Okay, 29.97 MP4. Yeah. As long as it's um, nothing. Do you, be, do you have a preference? Whatever. I mean, do you want it 1080? Do you want it 720? Like, what's uh, does it matter to you? No, because I'll, I'll do any conversion here that I need okay, to. Got it. All right. So, yeah, as, usually uh, uh, for these type of things, I've been doing them in 720 so we can use the same shot and then push in and hide the cuts. So. Yeah, so uh, if you want to send it in 720, that's fine. Okay, excellent. Richard, how does, Richard, how does he get it to you? Uh, you can send it to me via Google Docs, and I can uh, you know, send it to my uh, email address here. Oh, uh, I can take it down that way. Okay. Yep. Maybe may I, I, can, may, Maybe may I say uh, the sooner is always the better, because I was planning on taking tomorrow off. And oh, okay. I well, I'll try to get you. Is possible. I can spend more time with the mayor and the commission than my wife, and she would like to see me this week. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. what? No, just kidding. <laughs> All right, then. Um, so, if that's the case, then I'll get that to you as quickly as possible, and I'll circulate it uh, within the group uh, before then. Um, and then, of course, on Monday, um, what I'd like to do is, uh, uh, you know, I, I have a, um, a stand that I'll just hold my phone. Well, I'll do a live, um, uh, a Facebook live. Um, from the memorial, and that will just be, you know, uh, Mike, Mayor, uh, the Legion guys are going to do the, uh, the flag raising, the flag lowering, and then the um, uh, the rifle volley. Uh, it'll be very short, very compact, and everybody will be maintaining uh, proper distancing. Um, and uh, so that's going to be a, 
now we had talked about different times and uh, yeah. uh, I know people had, had said, you know, some people said, let's do 10 o'clock, let's do nine o'clock, let's do an off time so nobody shows up. Um, where where did we land on that? Where did everybody think was a good time on? Uh, I, I Let me check, check because I, I think uh, when Steve Tycho filled out a special event permit, it should have been on that. Well, he I think he said there was a range. He said a range. Do you know? Do you remember what the range was? Let me pull up. And I thought the idea was I did. I wanted to be able to bring the flag and the wreath and not, in, you know, not interfere with somebody else. Do you know what I mean? So I thought. I guess we were thinking times of like the Canadian Legion or the American Legion. I could be at ten. They could be at ten ten or ten oh five or whatever. It does not take long to set it up. Yeah, let's see. So I said next meeting virtual around the meeting. Um, the American Legion is actually helping out so much, so they should probably be last because they're going to be staying there. Let's I think see. I think those wreaths really have been set up even the night before. The other thing is we have not contacted everybody about the wreaths, so maybe we should not put the wreaths up. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking too. Okay, so I'll, just, I, I'll bring the flag. I'm assuming the American Legion was going to bring, Willie, you can confirm, the American uh, Legion will bring the, the American flag. I just want to make sure we have all the flags up there. I do. Mm -hmm. Hey, Willie? I'm here. I'm just kind of waiting to find out which flags do you actually want, how many? Well, so I'm going to bring the Canadian flag. I don't need to bring my American flag because I'm assuming you guys are going to bring the American flag. Right. And and those flags will be up on the monument, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I was thinking okay. that we could set them up before the ceremony. I Dave, agree. I agree. David, the, yep. the, the SCP has a very specific time. Okay. So the ceremony will begin at 10 a.m. Okay. Okay. So but we need to be... Sorry, go on. Well, I'm just saying, you tell me what time. It says we can, uh, we'll start setting up at around 9 a.m. Okay, well, there's, uh, and that was the thing that I was trying to tell Steve, and I'm trying to figure out if, if it was a text or an email when he said, um, you know, they want to know what to bring, you know, AV or setup or whatnot. And I said, or chairs, I said, no, there's no setup. It's, there's not even going to be a, um, a, a podium there. Um, that uh, uh, it's really just going to be, you know, Mike's going to be one place, Mayor's going to be another place, Legion's going to be off to the side, um, uh, ready for volley. Somebody's going to be in the back to be able to raise and lower, and I'm going to be moving around with the camera. And I'm assuming that what we do is, if it's at uh, if it's at 10 o'clock, then we tell everybody who's who wants to lay a wreath that day um, to arrive before them well before then um to lay their own uh cynthia yes um at this point if we haven't already contacted yeah please, we're please. nixing the wreaths oh can i talk because i'm oh, sorry yeah at this point i know for sure that uh we they have been laid out there the night before mm -hmm. and if we haven't reached out to these groups because there's like eight or nine of them mm -hmm. um we have to just uh, put something in the program that says, you know what, due to this thing, we are not doing laying of the wreaths because of, you know, put a script in there and no laying of the wreaths. Because you know what, the last thing we want to do is have uh, American Legion there, the Canadian Legion there. We don't get the daughters of, or the sons, you know, right. we don't want to do that. So I, I would say at this point, we take that out of the program because of this. Okay. And no, no may, may I make, no, a, may I make no. a suggestion? It's just that should we, you know. <laughs> I hear it already. It's not and mine. They, That's mine. They <laughs> been, um, I've laid the wreath before, and I always put the wreath out the day, day before, and it sits there. And then when I when I show up in my uniform, I carry it. So I'm just saying the laying of the wreaths, I would. For our sake, I think the best thing at this point is to let that go. Can I make a suggestion on that? Yes. Why don't we just have the city of Royal Oaks wreath there, just in honor of the wall for the memorial? And maybe remembrance of all of us. And they take 
responsibility for not having us being able to do that. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now, um, now, the, city, the city's uh, wreaths, I believe, are at um, DPS. So I can try to uh, get those. Just have it there for all. To, to the city wreath for everybody. That, right. That, that, As that, a matter of fact, Dave, you might want to just get a little shot of uh, maybe Judy laying that wreath on behalf of every every veteran in the city of Royal Oak. Oh, okay. Yeah. We I mean, just a thought. Good idea. Great idea. <clears throat> Great idea. Yeah, Judy, you get to do something there, Judy. Oh, well, I was going to say, maybe yeah. we could have Mr. Elvira do it since he missed his big grand I thought that we were not. We were not. Yeah, I, think I'm still not, I don't I'm think not that's a good idea to bring him in there. Okay. Yeah, I'm still not comfortable with exposing him to things too. And I mean, even though we're going to ma maintain distances and, and everything like that, it's, I think that would be, um, you know, even if he turned out and you know, everything was just fine, it's still, especially since it's going to be um, broadcasted, I, I think that just sets up too many people to be able to go, ha ha, Royal Oak doesn't care about people, neener, neener, neener. And, uh, you know, people are just dying to uh, point fingers right about now. So, <laughs> okay. A moment of input from uh, Willie, John Williams. Yeah, what's up, Willie? I had planned to uh, bring our wreath from the American Legion, but I think what you just proposed is a pretty good idea. Yeah. And I'm sure that Mike Sherman might speak for the VFW and say, I don't know if they were planning on bringing one or not, but I will uh, let them know because uh, I think they're planning on having a few representatives come. But I think it's a good idea not to have them and let Judy lay a wreath from the city, and that, rep that will represent all the organization so as not to uh, get anybody else's shorts in a knot because they couldn't be there. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Right. Now, there is another, the option, uh, you know, option C is okay. um, after we wrap up with this very short little uh, live thing that we're doing, um, it is a public place. It is a public memorial. And I certainly couldn't stop anybody from laying a wreath afterwards. Right. If, if their organization felt that they wanted to lay a wreath um, uh, individually uh, as part of beyond the ceremony, I certainly can't stop that. Yes, Cynthia. Again, I think um, this group has been, you know, together for about three years. Yep. And last year we had a little bit of a misstep about not contacting it contacting everybody in time right so i really think uh this is a really it really is kind of a bonus point for us because we didn't contact them and let them know they could lay their wreath on friday or saturday or sunday and have it be there so mm -hmm. i think for uh, for this group to hold some respect for the group i think that the Ro city of royal oak lays the wreath uh for all posts because some of them are like madison heights daughters of i mean i don't even know all of them all yeah i, I only know i would say i know diane and i i didn't contact her we didn't contact anybody so i think that we you should know what i'm saying you know, we, we just we, we've been so trying to figure this out ourselves that it's not a misstep um and the city of royal oak could lay the wreath and maybe name all of them because we have a oh, list of last programs. That's maybe, a great you know, idea. So maybe we, you know, if you haven't heard from us, we're trying to figure this all out. But, you know, the sons of the daughters, you know, there's a million. There's nine. I think there's nine. But if we list them. So maybe the what we do is, uh, so Judy, I'll get back to you. I saw you raising your hand. Maybe what we do is we have, um, you know, if, uh, if Judy or somebody wants to, uh, lay the wreath or uh, if uh, the mayor wants to lay the wreath and you know, say this is uh, we're, we're laying this in honor of all the organizations and whatnot and if Mike is there um, he could as that's going on right. you know, uh, and the, this is uh, you know, um, and, and here are the organizations that have traditionally laid wreaths that we are doing this in honor of um, right. and then as Mike reads off that list while the mayor walks up slowly puts it down and you know and, and moves yes. on uh, that'd be perfect yeah, so uh, let's see, Mike will read uh, names. Yes, Judy. Uh, I was just gonna say that uh, in all the years that I've witnessed the parade, everybody that lays a wreath takes it with them at the end of the ceremony. Like they don't leave them out 
all day. No, I think she was all gone. Before. It just it was takes... usually laid before. You yeah. lay it before, you march yeah. in the parade, and you grab it and you place it. Yes. So I can't imagine that anybody's going to want to come and lay a wreath and then come back and get it. And come back and right. get it. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. So then um, if that's the case, I will be there early. We'll tell the. Um, We'll tell Mayor um, and uh, um, American Legion and VFW, uh, well, you know, whoever is going to be there. Um, and obviously, we're not, uh, again, we're not opening up the door for everybody to show up. But uh, we've said we're going to be there, that um, I will be there early, but, you know, uh, probably no later than 945 uh, for everybody to be in place. And, uh, and we can go Facebook Live at 10 o'clock. And um, it will be, you know, um, Mike, I will, uh, I'll provide sort of a, uh, um, it won't be a, a uh, it won't be a full program like we normally have, but I'll provide you a mm -hmm. uh, printed um, breakdown of exactly what's, you know, uh, the order that we're going to do this in. And, uh, um, uh, and because, because you're speaking to a large audience, you're going to be speaking to the camera because whoever's on the other side of the camera is the people that would otherwise be there and uh, to, to to be there uh, um, you know, taking in this. So when anybody speaks, they're not gonna be speaking out to the general audience, you know how the, the people do that thing where they're talking. It's always gonna be directly to the camera as if you know the person is the only one that's watching. Um, so it, it'll be, uh, we won't need a mic. You know, I'll float with that thing and I'll, I'll basically get into, you know, um, I'll be in people's faces uh, as they go, so. Okay, great, I'll be there early. Okay. Cynthia, you had a question? Are we all going to be here? Are we all coming? Um, yeah. I, I, I'm of two minds of this. I don't. I mean, if we we maintain social distancing and we, you know, people are wearing masks, I personally don't mind. But I also don't want to tell people to show up there if they're not comfortable with it. And I also don't want to look like we're having a big old party. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm, it's the floor is wide open. You, you guys can tell me what you think, uh, is, is good and not. So Eileen, yes. Okay. So I, um, I informed the person at the Canadian Legion that it's very important to him, uh, Gary Orban. It's very important that we, you know, when he does, and I let him know that we are not doing a ceremony, that I was going to place the flag on behalf of the Legion. Um, so that, that we're not. And he just was happy that we were doing something. So he just hadn't heard. So I have not told anybody else at the Legion that we are doing this. I think that's okay. a better way to go. As far as they're concerned, our Legion is closed, honestly. So we're not open yet. Got it. Uh, Cynthia. Well, I think Judy was first, but I just want to, I was okay. talking about this group. Are we all going to be there? Oh, right. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying is I want to open it up. You know, I, I, I don't want to make people show up if they don't feel like it, uh, if they don't feel comfortable with it. But, uh, you know, uh, I don't think we're going to be running a follow of any rules if we show up and we've got a mask on. Yes, Judy. Uh, I, I think you guys all know, but maybe you don't know. I have a broken ankle. So yes, we do I know that. I can't lay a wreath. I can barely. No, I didn't think you were going to lay a wreath. <laughs> so is yeah. the mayor going to be there? Yeah, he's going to be there. I'll put him to work. He'll lay the wreath. Okay. <laughs> and, I, and I don't think that I will be there because um, okay, I, that's fine. I'm pretty actually, you know, I, you I wouldn't mind having that. somebody at home watching <laughs> on Facebook. Make <laughs> hey, John. Oh, hey, John. Hey, John. I gotta get something. Just sorry. <laughs> She's never on the Hi, I love John. That shirt. Hey, John and I How haven't played you? darts in a while. Oh, that's John, right. We haven't played darts in a while. I miss drinking so bad. John, okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah. uh, Patrick, you look like you had a question, but you're on mute. Um, what do you want? Yeah, I was just going to say, uh, it might be smart if we go not to have us on camera, just so like you said earlier, people aren't accusing us. So. Oh, yeah. I, I, what I'll do is, uh, because I'm only going to be pointed in one direction. Yeah. Um, so anybody who shows up, so long as you stay behind me, and yeah. if I'm if I'm here and you're here and it's my turn and get people over here, just so long as you guys are, you know, yeah. uh, you've got my six, then we'll be fine. We gotta get rid of that. Yeah. This yeah. is Willie raising his hand. Hey, Willie. Hi, Willie. As far as far as I'm concerned, everybody on that committee is welcome to be there. That is true, but I think out of respect, I think 
I think it's yep. we just be socially distant with each other. Make your own choice. And a mask. And a mask. Yep. I think you probably should have a mask on. Yep. Right. Now, um, in terms oh, yes. of, um, oh, go on, David. Judy. Sorry, somebody just uh, somebody just pointed out to me by text that we can only have ten people for the governor's orders. I mean, I you know that's what the latest uh, order is gatherings of ten. Mm -hmm. so, people. So I think that we should limit it to the people that us need to be there, the essential people. Well, uh, the question then would be if uh, we've got seven folks from the Legion off to the side, um, way far away for the uh, the 21 gun salute because it's se usually seven people yeah. and three volleys each, correct? Yeah. Um, the the yeah, question correct. is, is are we one group in their one group or would they be part of our group? No, I think so. they're, 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 they're enough ways away. They're, those seven people are okay, but um, maybe. <laughs> Just be like, I don't know, it's crazy. They showed up here with guns. It's nuts. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. I know. Are they going to wear, they have to wear masks and be six feet apart, too. <laughs> so, That's um, very different. That is true. Six feet apart of each yeah. other. Well, the good thing is, uh, they're used to drilling ceremony, so I think they'll be fine. Yes. Uh, Cynthia, you had a question? I just want to make sure, no harm, no foul, that I really do think that Steve and I are going to go up north for the weekend. Oh, however, okay. however, uh, it was pending this meeting, whether because uh, we have a cabin way out in the woods in Grayling that we haven't yeah. seen, and we are kind of thinking about going there. I will watch yeah. it. We have a hot spot up there. I'll support this. You know, we're going to take a picture. I'm going to shoot it to you, Dave, tomorrow in our shirts. Hopefully, Excellent. we make the cut. I don't know, but um, <laughs> we, we would love to be there. Yeah. But if I don't have to be, no. you know. Oh, no, I'm not going to force anybody. No, Trust me. Not well, at all. I mean, yeah. it's no, not no. about being the safety, but I want to make sure that I could be there to maybe help with the crowd, no. whatever I could do. I don't think, I think we're fine. I think, I don't think okay. that we have needed tons of people like we normally do. Because you know what? We've been, we, you know, we've all been there at five o'clock or six o'clock in the morning yeah. with donuts and bagels, and this is who we are. But at this point in time, with Grayling being open, mm -hmm. I might have a beer in a bar in Grayling this weekend. Just saying. In a real bar, huh? Yes. So, <laughs> but we, I, 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 anything anybody needs until, you know, even I email, but I think that that is our plan. Got it. Okay. Um, it's fine. I think it's fine. So uh, um, if that's the case, then I'm going to work with Mike on making sure that we have a, 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 a printed off, like very rudimentary um, uh, program of how we're going to run this and, uh, um, and you know, uh, any brief statement that, um, uh, that anybody's going to say, I'll work with the mayor. I mean, he's basically just going to reiterate what he says on the video. Um, and, you know, Mike's great on his feet. He always knows exactly what to say at these things. And um, uh, and it's really just going to be, you know, uh, then we're doing this, now this, now this. And, you know, um, and uh, uh, please watch, you know, the uh, extended virtual Memorial Day ceremony video on our Facebook page, as well as the city page of whatever, whatever. Um, and then, you know, knowing that it's live and at the end of that, we have a call to action where we throw people to the, uh, the pre-made one um, that is online. And, you know, if you don't have Facebook, watch tonight at 5 p.m. on WROK or whatever it's gonna be. Um, so uh, we'll make sure that we have the, the proper time that that's going to be programmed at for um uh for on tv and um i'll probably put the video up early that morning on uh facebook and what i don't know is um does the city okay. itself have a youtube channel or is it just facebook do you know judy the city has a youtube channel oh yeah, the, the, yes wrok -E. uh, oh okay um, i don't know who yeah, they have one. Oh, okay. I'll make it available. Um, uh, what I'll do is the same video that I'm going to make uh, um, 
web ready for Richard. I'll make available to anybody who wants to grab that, um, whoever's the admin on that thing, and they can put it on the YouTube channel. I'll put it on the, because I'm the admin of the Memorial Day Parade video, uh, uh, Facebook page, I'll put it on there natively. Um, and um, I just don't want to put it on like my YouTube page and then share that one because then, you know, at the end of it, then you get everybody else's videos and it'll be all marketing and advertising videos. I'd much rather it live natively on the, um, uh, the city's pages. Okay. Okay. Now, um, the, uh, the only other thing was, um, uh, let's see, let me open up this here. Um, so yes, uh, Pastor Rick Beatty was fantastic. Oh, the social media cards. Um, it, you both have both of those things. And um, I've posted both on the, the uh, Memorial Day Parade page. And I'm going to do it again uh, tomorrow, each one of them separately, separated by, I don't know, eight hours or so. So that if you do them too close together, then the algorithm thinks you're spamming it and it'll kind of uh, limit you. But uh, yeah, push again uh, to get people out there to decorate the porches, decorate the bikes, things like that as well. Um, and uh, I'm posting these to the, the parade page, but I don't have access to the city page, but I also don't know if they wanted to be pushing this um, themselves. Hey, we, but we, yeah. Um, we have something. I posted Mr. Um, Mr. Elvira in his shirt uh, tonight and asked people again, and I did send out an email to past parade pr participants. And I think that generated about five or six photos. I've been forwarding them to you, David. Have you been getting yep. them? Yep. Yeah, I'm getting them one by one. No, I'm not seeing a lot though when I do the Oak Stand Strong. Um, Partly I think people are just now get like, I was the second or third one to buy one. So I don't know if they ship them out in order of the uh, purchase. Yeah, Cynthia. I, since I posted that picture, I think you all got it, or maybe you didn't, but I posted mine as soon as they cam, came, and I had 12 people um, saying, where can I get that, that? where can I get that, uh, I posted and that's it on why, Facebook. but that's why I rate, I know, and you know what, this is all filed under lessons learned, because um, I could have done better, I should have done better, uh, if Judy didn't send the uh i don't know whether it was facebook or email that it was this is your last chance if you if judy didn't send that to me steve and i would not have our shirts i love our shirts and it was like i had 24 hours so i was remiss in not doing it at the right time um this is all things well, that we figured out but i'll tell you these shirts are amazing i love the quality I they're love, soft i love the message mm -hmm. Well, so I, because we wanted people to get them in time for Memorial Day and to be able to get that, right. so they had to have a limited time. What, uh, what I don't know is if we can open it up again after Memorial Day and just yeah. have an extended, you know, order through June 1st or something like that, uh, when it's actually pretty close. Um, uh, but I believe we can open it back up for those that still want them. Um, and, uh, but I don't know if that's the if it's the same thing where like you have to have a window of time and then it gets to the end of that and then they send them all out all at once as opposed to one after another. Yes. Okay, so I, that was explained to me by Judy that it, you know it you know what you got it open for two weeks. Sorry, snooze you lose. Yeah. So at the end of the day, though, I didn't do a good job of promoting it. So maybe this whole committee has some of that responsibility of yeah. not promoting it as big as we could have. Um, and we also didn't know the COVID thing was going to go so crazy yeah. when we wow. when we started this. Because now, now it has a whole new meeting, not just to this group. It has a whole new meeting for our city. Mm -hmm. So and maybe this is an opportunity for this group to make bank on that if we open it up mm -hmm. yeah there's so, a uh, creation so now geez. i'm now i'm looking at the there are a few uh people that have posted pictures with their shirts on on facebook have you seen david okay, no, I'm I, I, just I haven't gone out there today i've been busy on other stuff but i, I just I'll, did a brief i just did a brief search and i see commissioner douglas did it i see uh, a few, not a lot, but a few. So we'll have to do a big um, push. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, let's see. I, I mean, worst case scenario is kind of cheating, but I mean, uh, we could probably use pictures from parade. Yeah, I don't, I don't see that. Maybe Maybe I'm looking that. at a post or something here. I'm not. If you just go it. up to the top of Facebook <laughs> and put the hashtag Oak Stand Strong, you'll see everybody okay. that uh, posted with that. So it looks like, it looks like uh, the middle school posted some pictures of them. I was yep. going to say, like, if we, <laughs> worst case scenario is we could post uh, some of uh, uh, Eileen's son's pictures mm -hmm. from past parades. Yes. And yep. create, Absolutely. Uh, I know, I know, I see Cynthia's face. It's not, it's not great, but we can't have a, a I'm just, slide I'm well, oh, you know, now I see I'm just telling you, people know that. Yep. And they will, they'll dig you, they'll dig us up about that. Yep. Well, I'd rather people, walk around town. And, a lot I of would people rather don't, walk around town and show people that what the city is right now and be proud of it. Well, because, there, you know, a lot of people, when I sent out the email to past uh, participants, a lot of them did just send pictures of themselves in the parade from past years. They, but they're their photos. They're not, um, it, your son's name is Matt, right? Yeah. I mean, yep. They're not Matt's photos, they're just- uh, No, but I do have Matt's photos up. in the past. Uh, yeah. Eileen, do you have something to say? Well, I just wanted to ask like, how come those are not, like I, I just did what you said and I came up with them, but why is that not on our Facebook page? Is it because they're posting uh, to their page with that? Because we hashtag? told people to post them. What we didn't want yeah. is for everybody to show up, like, um, it's confusing to say, go to the Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade page, post the one there and whatnot. It's just, it's too many extra steps. Anybody who posts anywhere on Facebook with that hashtag, I'll be able to get those things. And I'm going to aggregate okay. all that stuff right before. I'm also going to go to Instagram and take a look at that. Um, it looks like, a, um, <laughs> because the one time we did use Oak Stand Strong before um, was during the election uh, uh, late last year. So the, uh, the stuff from 2019 is not our Oak Stand Strong. Obviously, okay. our started there's, Yeah, there's an Oakfield Public Library that's uh, not, in, <laughs> it's not part of Royal Oak, but they also use the Oak Stand Strong tag. Ah, oh. got it. Um, so yeah, it looks like, uh, but I'm, I'm seeing everybody who's posting on here and- um, So, uh, and I'll also go through um, for Instagram. Uh, and we can also like, when you do a search on a hashtag, you can actually say date posted. And if you just say 2020, right, or if you say Detroit metro area and whatnot, you can winnow it down too. So, um, okay. Uh, Cynthia, well, we're gonna something? take our picture and we'll post it. Are we okay if you want us to post it to the website or you want us to post it? Hashtag strong. You, could, uh, you can post it to your feed. You can post it on the Memorial Day Parade okay. page. Um, either way, so long as it's on Facebook with that hashtag, um, yep. Oaks Stand Strong, not Oaks Stand Strong. I had somebody yeah, do Oaks. that. And strong, um, Got it. and uh, uh, th then we'll be. Um, I'll be able to find it. Okay. And yeah. normally, when we do this sort of thing too, is I, I will actually do a sweep for misspellings as well, like oh, okay. Oaks Add Strong, and uh, you know, the uh, it's it's just you know I've been doing web stuff for so long that you know God I named my company Parliament Studios. I had to buy six misspelled URLs for all the people that misspell Parliament in every possible variation. <laughs> Because we're we're English, we're not British. Um, Cynthia, you had something to say. I'm just saying that um, I think it is important to uh, focus on what we're going through right now, mm -hmm. and less might be more, right? Mm -hmm. Less might be more because we do not know what the community is going through. I think we're all good, and if you're not good, you need to let me know or somebody know in this group because we can help out. But Less is more. So if we only have, you know, I don't know how many shirts we sold. If we only have, if we had sold 120 shirts and there's 20 people. All right. So 120 shirts and we got 15 people. We don't know what less is more. This is a crazy okay. time. We're trying to do the best. We can. Mm -hmm. So if we get one flag in front of a small lawn, that's a rep mm -hmm. representation. It's right. not banners. Um, I think we need to focus more on that. And maybe these people don't have the time or um, the computer abilities to post mm -hmm. this, but 
I'm willing to walk out tomorrow and take pictures of flags and bikes yeah. that I've seen. I, I, I mean, it's crazy what we're seeing right now. So maybe we couldn't focus on that because it is crazy times, right? It is. And uh, now maybe I think that would think, be more memorable. For I this. think it's half and half. I think you are right. There are people that everybody's crazy running around and, and, uh, and, and, and really kind of keeping their head above water. Um, and I also know that some people will wait until, you know, 24, 48 hours right before something before they go, oh, that was then? Crap, I got to do that. So, you know, I may be, uh, I'll probably be building <laughs> videos yeah, at like right. a.m. on Monday morning. Um, or, uh, you know, what we do is I can, you know, by the end of Memorial Day, I can piece those things together and release. I was planning on releasing the photos as a video. Um uh, on our page, um, like after, like separate from the ceremony video. So there's the video with the interviews and the, the all of that stuff and the taps that that was going to be a standalone video that was going to be posted. And then a smaller, uh, and specifically for, um, this, uh, because it's going to be Facebook and Instagram and all those other things, people are going to be seeing them on phones. Um, the, the picture video was going to be square, uh, where the other video was going to be the size, you know, the shape okay. of a TV. So I'm going to make the picture video square because some people are going to take them vertical, some people are going to take them horizontal. I didn't want to tell people, oh, you have to take it this way, otherwise it won't show up because people will screw that up. So I was, I knew they were going to take them however they wanted to. So, um, but uh, uh, yeah, and and so we've got stuff coming in. There's stuff people are tagging themselves. Um, I'm confident we'll have some, and I've got past um, uh, past Memorial Day photos um, again to um yeah that uh, we can incorporate so uh, i'm not terribly worried that we're not going to have anything so okay yep what about the flyover flyovers you're going to use those oh yeah no i got those pictures too those were great yeah i want to meet him if anybody knows him i need to yeah, meet him yeah you know what maybe when they release uh lisa's to so he's visit a vet he's a, he's like a i told david i said he's like a 21 year veteran he lives in Royal Oak. He probably yeah. lives in high rises right over here because his stuff is amazing. If you look at his website, his stuff is really good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I've got those as well. Um, and like I said, anything that you find that you think would be great for that, uh, um, the, the photo video, that's more of just like a collage of the photos coming in and out and everything, uh, feel free to email me. You don't have to post it. You don't have to go through the hashtag. You can email me directly. I just didn't want to put my personal email out there, uh, you know, for the world to see um, for this one. So that's what where the hashtag thing's going. From. I thought the Camp Casey one was cute, where they've got the the red, white, and blue horse. There we go. <laughs> um, so we'll definitely include that one. So they uh, they had posted the the Camp Casey one that was. Um, uh, did everybody see that one? The um, they posted happiness on horseback, Oak Stand Strong. If you look for the Oak, Strand, Oak Stand Strong, they posted it on their Facebook page. Um, and uh, it says, join us on the Royal Oak, Michigan um, City Hall for the virtual Memorial Day Parade. So they posted, ooh. So they posted, join us on Royal Oak, Michigan City Hall Facebook page for that day. That wasn't where I was going to be broadcasting, but if we're broadcasting live from the Memorial Day uh, Facebook page, then whoever run as the admin on the city page can just post a live feed to that one too. So it shows up in both places. We do that quite often when we're broadcasting, like my company, uh, you know, the startup one is broadcasting on entrepreneur and we're doing both at the same time. So we'll work it all out beforehand. So okay. let me go here. And I mean, uh, honestly, that's it. I'm going to keep working on the video and I'll send it around. Um, if you guys want to send out the uh, uh, decorate your porch, decorate your bikes again, just to kind of get that out there. If there's any pictures that show up that you think would be great, send them to me. I'm still working on that. And uh, I'm going to work with both the mayor and Mike to make sure we've got um, everything um, for Monday morning. Um, and uh, so Willie, you'll be there on uh, uh, you'll be there at like nine thirty on Monday. I'm gonna lay the I'm doing the flag for the Canadian Legion. Okay. <laughs> All right, was that a Willie? This, Willie? this is Willie raising his hand. You asked me a question. Yes. <laughs> yes, I will definitely be there. Okay. Excellent. Now here's what I'd like you to do for me. Yes, sir. I'm gonna be putting out a message to my uh, 
Legion Post, the Honor Guard, and a couple of guys from the VFW that said they'd like to attend. Mm -hmm. That we're going to be basically we want to be in place there at 9:30, with mm -hmm. a ceremony beginning at 10:00. Correct. Yep. Yeah. All right, then you and Mike are going to come up with a format for the ceremony, and I'd like you to send that to me as soon as you have it so that I can present it to the Honor Guard captain so that he knows what his place is going to be and our places. Okay, so send program to Mike, Willie, and Mayor. Um, and then what I was planning on, too, is I was going to get there early uh, with a uh, – with a tape measure, because um, I knew some people yep. were going to show up and everything That's like that. What I was going to do is bring uh, markers and a tape measure and basically mark off every six feet, so that because uh, um, uh, the uh, what I've what I've noticed in stores and whatnot, they'll have the here's six feet, so here's a mark, here's a mark, but then two feet over, they'll have another line here, and I'm like, that's not six, feet, that's two feet. <laughs> You're six feet one direction. It's got to be six feet in a circle. So um, I will. I was gonna get there early, you know, get there around nine o'clock or something like that, and just start marking off the uh, um, uh, uh, putting markers for people to stand. Yeah, Patrick, you had a question. Yeah, I was just gonna say, if you need help with that, I can also show up early. Just let me know. Okay, great. Um, then, uh, yeah, Cynthia. Um, could you send me the program too, just in case I feel weak and need to be back here for it? <laughs> no, I'm going to send it to everybody. Uh, and, uh, send it out because I hate to miss it. And if I can help in any way, we can come back on Monday. Got it. No yeah. worries. No worries. I, I want to know that you're... Uh, send me the program. Yep. Please. Absolutely. So I've got that here. Um, and I will, um, let's see. So I'm going to send, uh, check with the mayor, make sure he's cool with his statements. Um, he likes to write his own stuff. I think mine <laughs> threw him for a loop. We, we have different speaking styles. Um, and, um, uh, you know, Mike and I will, will talk about what he's going to say ahead of time. But like I said, he's, he's good off the cuff. What's yeah, your, mom uh, and son. I love that. Uh, yes! In Michigan. Hey, throwing it out there. Mateo. <laughs> so, uh, he's, in, uh, he's in the epicenter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. All right. Then, uh, um, well, I will send out an, uh, an email when that video is ready to take a look at, and you guys can give a, a yay or nay, and you can give any recommendations if you want. Um, just remember to use the time code when you, you write back. Yep. And I'll try to get that to Richard as quick as possible. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is the strangest <laughs> Memorial Day we've done, but again, it's, yep. uh, again, we could have, you know, anybody could have just said, oh, well, parade's canceled, you know, sorry, yep. uh, we'll see you guys next year, and I, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't handle that, I couldn't hang with just saying, oh, well, we're canceling Memorial Day, <laughs> you know? I'm glad that everybody hung in there, and, and at least we're, uh, we're putting out something. All right, I do think it's important that we let that message out, mm -hmm. that yeah. this has been a struggle for all of us, and Nobody wanted it to be this way. It's a glorious day. We've all been there. We all wore our uniforms. We are proud to be this, these people. So this is a struggle. It's a struggle. Even for me to go up north, it's a struggle because I've done this and we've, we've all been there for how many years. So I think that's an important message to de deliver to, to the community. Yep. And Definitely. I'm going to go out tomorrow for a walk and I'm going to take some pictures of some porches and some flags. I'm going to yep. send them to you. Absolutely. Yes, I mean. Okay, so obviously I think we finished your report. I just want to know if there's anything from the sponsorship committee that you think you need to share. Uh, no, I, I know we scheduled our, what was it, June 2nd one. Um, that was, I think that's the first sponsorship. Um, okay meeting right. that we're going to do at seven uh, we're going to do at six o'clock before our seven o'clock one yeah it was um, on the agenda so that's the only reason why i'm asking i didn't fine. pretty I, much I, do I, that but i just had to ask okay. that's quite all right um yep. so yeah the uh, uh so the virtual event itself will be the primary one will be on the memorial day parade facebook mm -hmm. page um ideally at 10 o'clock um an admin for the city page um uh, goes to the Memorial Day and shares that uh, the video feed. What that'll do is then that video feed will show up then in the city page as well, and they'll be okay. broadcasting on both of those. Um, and um, and the good thing is when you do a Facebook Live, after the event is done, the video is still there to rewatch. You don't have to watch it live. You can watch it live, 
Um, but as soon as it's over, it processes in the background and then it stays as a video as if you uh, post okay. it. Um, but uh, other than that, was there any new business that anybody can think of before we uh, we move into this Memorial Day weekend? Oh, I'm raising my hand again. You just right, mentioned Willie. something. Yep. This is Willie. Would you please include in your uh, copy of your program to me any links or information regarding how to view, how to view or where to view this uh, ceremony? Absolutely. I will. Thank you. Yep. And uh, um, what I'm going to do too is the, um, the, the pre-made video um, with the interviews and everything like that is going to be posted both on Facebook and on YouTube. So even if you're not on Facebook, if there's no Facebook affiliation whatsoever, you'll still be able to watch that video. And I'm still checking. I've got a friend checking on this one to see if, if you don't have a Facebook account, can you view Facebook live events that are open to the public? Um, and that's still up in the air. So uh, we'll check, we'll take a look. And worst case scenario, if they can't, then we can always grab that video after it's done and then post that to the same um, YouTube channel as well. But yes, I'll send those links, Willie. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. All right. Um, any other new business Thanks. that we want to do before we adjourn? You know, I'm going to nope. echo what you said, uh, or somebody said it. All, everybody that I've talked to that knows that we're doing this, they think it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Aw. It was super yeah. So I, I'm really glad that we are doing this. Excellent. I, I'm, it's, I'm glad that other people are taking notice. Yes, I mean. So for, I just wanted to share with you guys. So I, I emailed Jack Salter when I got his shirt and said, I'd like to drop it off. I was hoping to get a picture. And he said, American House is on lockdown. They won't let you drop it off. So I can't even drop the t-shirt off to him. But I'm hoping that in the future we'll get a picture and then we can still post it on the Facebook page. Eileen, uh, you might want to try, uh, so my mom stays in an assisted living place and sometimes they'll accept something from the outside and then they stick it in an office for 72 hours and then, okay. you know, so okay. like they, get to, they get mail and cards and stuff like that. I think oh, yeah, I, yeah. I think I would call the office and ask if you can drop it off. Okay. All right. I'll do that. They actually they have laundry there. So just ask them to wash it and then give it to him. Yeah. He would love it. I know he would uh, love it. He's like so happy that we ordered it for him. <laughs> well, yeah. I just, you know, you mentioning that made me remember something we'd talked about beforehand. Um, if people in these, the, uh, in the, the tower and, and whatnot, I mean, if, if they aren't avid Facebook users, um, as uh, a lot of them aren't, um, I wonder if there's anybody on staff that we let know this is going to be happening on that time. So if they say, hey, if anybody wants to come down to this, uh, you know, the common area, whatnot, we'll we'll pull up a Facebook one and, and uh, go live live with that. Um, yes, yeah, Cynthia, you had a question. Um, it's usually the activities director or the social worker at those facilities. Okay. And um, really, they're on overload because I've been okay. retired and I'm still getting calls about people so but it is on overload and maybe you know it's it's it, it's worth a chance i can I'll, I'll call both of them in town and let them know when the channel is yeah i'll, I'll tell them i would now. personally call both the ones towers in town and just let the administrator know when it's going to be aired but they're on overload. It would normally be your social worker or activities director, even getting mail. And okay. they are on overload because they're trying to keep these uh, seniors active yeah, yeah. their families. So, yeah. all right. Well, if that's the case, um, uh, like I would say, if anything comes up uh, that doesn't require a vote, uh, feel free to hit me up on, uh, you know, text me, email me, something like that. I will be sending around a link with the videos for approval here soon uh, okay. within the next day. And um, I greatly appreciate all of you for all the time you put in and all the dedication. And it's, uh, it, yeah, we're like, especially this thank year. You it's, all. It's I beautiful. thank you all. Yep. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. So. All right. Well, can we get a motion for adjournment oh. then? So. I'll motion to adjourn. This is Willie. Okay. All right. Second. That's Willie for first. Cynthia Garrett will second. second. Cynthia, all in favor? 
Aye. Aye. Agreed. Aye. All right. Mm -hmm. Eight oh three. Oh three. Patrick, Excellent. look. Patrick, your hair looks like you're flying in the back, but it's really the fan behind you. I know it is funny. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the name of the haircut. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, some of us are jealous Good of the, the, the thick hair that doesn't exist anymore. So. <laughs> have a great, have a great right, well, weekend. Bye, I'll talk to you all later and look for my Thank email you. soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Right. Yeah. All right, I got to find Dave saying goodbye.